many years, it was widely believed that only proteins could be enzymes. An enzyme must be able to bind a substrate, carry out a chemical reaction, release the product, and repeat this sequence of events many times. We now know that RNAs can also act as biological catalysts. RNA molecules that act as enzymes are called ribozymes. When you have completed this exercise, you should understand the structural differences between DNA and RNA. Understand how these structural differences help RNAs act as catalysts. Understand the catalytic activity of the hammerhead ribozyme, and be aware of some of the other catalytic activities exhibited by ribozymes. While the structures of RNA and DNA are similar, RNA differs from DNA in three key respects. First, RNA is usually found as a single polynucleotide chain, rather than a double strand. This allows RNA to fold back on itself, forming complex tertiary structures. Second, RNA contains uracil in place of thymine. Uracil is identical to thymine, except that it lacks the 5' methyl group. Third, the backbone of RNA contains ribose rather than 2' deoxyribose. The substitution of a hydroxyl group for a hydrogen atom is important for the catalytic activity of many ribozymes. Under alkaline conditions, the 2' hydroxyl of the ribose in the RNA backbone can become deprotonated, resulting in a negatively charged oxyanion. This oxyanion can attack the phosphate group at the 3' position of the same ribose. This reaction breaks the RNA chain, producing a 2' 3' cyclic phosphate and a free 5' hydroxyl group. Each ribose in an RNA chain can undergo this reaction, completely cleaving the parent molecule into nucleotides. The hammerhead ribozyme is a sequence-specific ribonuclease whose biological activity uses a mechanism similar to alkaline hydrolysis. The hammerhead ribozyme was originally discovered in certain infectious RNA agents of plants called viroids and has since been discovered in the genomes of species ranging from newts to cave crickets. The hammerhead ribozyme gets its name from the shape of its secondary structure which consists of three base-paired stems surrounding a core of non-complementary nucleotides required for catalysis. The hammerhead ribozyme cleaves RNA between stem 1 and stem 3 at cellular pH. This cleavage is accomplished using a magnesium ion found in the catalytic pocket. The magnesium ion coordinates a hydroxide ion in an optimal position to deprotonate the 2' hydroxyl of the ribose at the cleavage site. Following this deprotonation, the mechanism is identical to the mechanism of alkaline hydrolysis. In the tertiary structure of the hammerhead ribozyme, the cleavage site is positioned within the catalytic pocket. This orientation is necessary so that the magnesium ion bound in the catalytic pocket can catalyze the cleavage reaction. Note, this animation is meant to aid you in understanding the tertiary structure of the hammerhead ribozyme. It is not meant to represent the biological mechanism of ribozyme folding. Naturally occurring hammerhead ribozymes are autocatalytic and the self-cleavage reaction can only take place once. Therefore, naturally occurring hammerhead ribozymes are not true catalysts. However, the hammerhead ribozyme can be engineered to function as a true catalyst by dividing the molecule into two portions, separating the ribozyme from its substrate. After cleavage, the substrate is released and replaced by a fresh, uncut substrate, thus allowing repeated rounds of cleavage. Like the hammerhead, many of the known ribozymes are ribonucleases. However, ribozymes have been discovered with other activities. For example, the component of the ribosome that is responsible for the formation of the peptide bond, the peptidyl transferase, is a ribozyme. Researchers have used in vitro evolution to generate ribozymes that catalyze other reactions. In this exercise, you will explore some of the techniques used to evolve new ribozymes.
The structure of RNA differs from that of DNA in three key respects. RNA is usually single-stranded. RNA contains uracil instead of thymine, and RNA contains ribose instead of 2 prime deoxyribose. These differences help RNAs to act as catalysts. Under alkaline conditions, the 2 prime hydroxyl of a ribose in the RNA backbone can become deprotonated, leading to the hydrolysis of the RNA chain. The hammerhead ribozyme catalyzes the hydrolysis of RNA in a mechanism similar to that of alkaline hydrolysis. Ribozymes have been discovered with several activities. For example, the peptidyl transferase of the ribosome is a ribozyme. You have completed this exercise.